Penny, hey, I miss you too. Oh, well, Penny, come. Stay. Hey, Dad. Sorry it's so early, I just landed. Actually, you're a bit late. Five weeks. I know, I know. I'm sorry, it's, 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 it's a long story, okay? But how, how was it? It was your mother's funeral. It only works if you answer it. Dad? Dad! Dad! Hey, 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 you okay? You okay? You can't breathe? No, no, okay, I'm gonna call for help. Yeah, 911, my dad collapsed, he can't breathe. Please hurry. Okay, just hold on, Dad. Good morning, everyone. Right on time. Would you sleep here or use a teleportation device? I used a teleportation device. Nonsensical questions usually imply sarcasm, which I found people often answer sarcastically. Good one. Trauma wants a consult on a 66-year-old male who collapsed from severe anaphylaxis, uh, complicated by respiratory arrest. Now, his son just got back from Thailand. Almost immediately, the father had his allergic reactions. <gasps> The patient has a few allergies, pollen, mold, shellfish, but no corresponding allergens were in evidence. Why are we doing a surgical consult on an allergy? No, we're not. We're doing a consult on the excruciating abdominal pain you now have. <coughs> As you may have heard. Mr. <coughs> Wilkes. Hi, I'm Dr. Neil Melendez. Heard you have some abdominal pain. some serious pain, 10 milligrams of morphine worth. Test results show elevated lipase, amylase, pancreatic enzymes. Pancreas is enlarged, could be pancreatitis, maybe alcohol-induced. Son said he smelled alcohol on his father at 6 in the morning. And anaphylaxis has been known to precipitate attacks of pancreatitis. Guess that's it, then. Meaning you totally disagree. Not everyone who starts their day off with a mimosa fries their pancreas. Your eyesight must be a whole lot better than mine because I can't see the entire pancreas due to the overlying bowel gas. We'll order an abdominal CT and take a better look. There you go. Where the hell's Murphy? It's a severe fracture, but I don't think you'll need pins. Young bones tend to heal very well. Young bones? Isn't that a Star Trek Origins graphic novel? Mm. I'm not sure. No, that was a joke. Where are your parents? They're coming. They both work in the city, so it's a long drive for them. I was on a school field trip, and I tripped over my own feet. Of course, it was right in front of Shelby Lomer. At least it was pretty gross, so I got some sympathy points for that. I would expect this to have been caused by a more serious accident. No, nope, just a trip. I do that a lot. What can I say? I'm clumsy. Yes, now follow my finger. You have some nystagmus, an involuntary eye movement. So, what's that mean? When you fell, did you hit your head? No. What, you think I have brain damage? Nystagmus can be a sign of a neurological issue. Oh, well, that would explain the C I got in social studies. That was another joke, wasn't it? I'm going to order a head CT for you. Go for it. Well, are you getting any sleep? Yes. Really? I mean, really getting sleep? I got here on time. Well, that's good. I used a teleportation device. I 
Radiology form, please. Show that boy. He looks like Steve. He does. Is he related? His name is Evan Gallico, so I don't think so. Wow, that is uncanny. Just coincidental. He looks exactly like your brother. No, he doesn't. His hair is shorter. It freaks me out. It doesn't freak you out. Mm -hmm. No. It's okay if it no, does. No, he's not Steve. Steve's dead. I used a teleportation device. It was a joke. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So I couldn't come to Mom's funeral because I fell in love. She was another teacher at the school, a Thai woman. And she was kind and, and beautiful and loving. I'm very, very sick. She had a congenital heart defect. Look, if you don't want to tell me where you've been for the last six months, then don't. It's your business. But don't insult my intelligence. Oh, I couldn't just leave her. You couldn't leave her for five minutes to make a phone call. This a bad time? No. Come in. According to the CT, you have a lesion on your pancreas. Well, what do you think this lesion could be? I'm not sure. That's why we need to biopsy it. It could just be a benign cyst. Or? Or. It could be cancer, right? We'll know soon enough. This won't take long. I know. I've had two of these. One more and I get my scout badge. <laughs> that was funny. Tough to tell without looking at you, but I'm guessing that was sarcasm. No. I have autism, which makes it hard for me to read social cues. Jokes are difficult. I used to know a kid with autism. Peter. He was kind of weird, but super nice. Used to know? You don't know him anymore? He died. Hit by a car. You know anyone who died? My brother. That sucks. Why did you have the other CT scans? My parents have... Uh, what's the word for fear of getting sick? Hypochondriasis? No, worse than that. They have... Nosophobia. I love that word. What do you think of Miss Gannett? She's nice. I think she's Calipigian. She's what? Calipigian? It means having shapely buttocks, Sean. The... You read the dictionary. What it lacks in plot, it makes up for in vocab. So, you married? Girlfriend? Boyfriend? Tropical fish? I like Leah. Mm. And who's Leah? Leah is a friend. A friend you date? A friend with benefits. I lend her batteries sometimes. I like where this is going. So, you know, keep going. Because if you don't, I will. It's kind of my thing, you know? Just constant talking. Annoys everyone. Murphy. Uh, well, I guess not everyone. Hey. My family's pretty used to me now. Hey. My friends are pretty talkative as well, so well, when I get Are you giving the fractured arm a head CT? Yes. Get back to the pancreas. He's not clumsy. He has a brain tumor behind the inner ear. Forget the pancreas.